Hello and welcome to a Lux Report on YouTube. You have most likely seen the previous videos on the saga of the timepiece gentleman, and the saga continues. We've got lots of information to show you, so let's get on to it. So the timepiece gentleman released his new video relating to him doing so-called charity work for the past week, and he has taken that video down. Disappeared, deleted, gone forever, never to be seen again. If you watched that video, you would have noticed the amount of down uh, votes on that video and the comments ripping into Timepiece Gentleman and also him trying to raise $250,000. He only managed to get, I think, around 5700 was the, late, the last amount that I saw. And that is after around 100,000 views. And we don't know how much of that money maybe was part of his team. And at the end of that video he just made and got deleted, he mentioned he was going to fly over to LA to meet producer Michael. Well, producer Michael has made a response to that. He says, hey guys, you may have heard I was recently approached by Anthony, timepiece gentleman, to interview him after their social media blackout. After seeing their latest video, I decided it wasn't necessary anymore as they had covered everything in that episode. And to that, I applaud you, Producer Michael, because I'm sure a person of your caliber doesn't want to get into this drama, doesn't want to get all of the negativity towards your channel, because I love your channel. You have uh, videos that inspire people. You show the world things that most people would never be able to see. Um, so I appreciate your hard work and your videos that you produce. Next up, we have un uncovered a private message um, saying from Anthony Ferrer, saying, uh, I believe in his uh, private groups, that um, the reason why he deleted his uh, latest video is that it was bringing too much negativity and he claims malicious people are trying to ruin his business and that um, that's the reason why he took it down. He also claims that he is willing to refund anyone the $2,000 that they paid to be in that private group. Um, and he also says that all negativity will be blocked out, only positivity from uh, now on. Um, he claims he's open to criticism, but uh, malicious acts will not be tolerated. But I don't see any malicious acts, to be honest. All of the negativity is actually brought on by yourself and your own actions, Anthony. No one is being malicious. If anything, the people that are being malicious are your own self in your actions. To raise awareness for charities that had a little special place for us. We turned off our social media and we went and gave back to charity. It was such an awesome feeling. <laughs> to, to be able to do something for someone else and not be worried about what's going on on Instagram or what's going on on YouTube and what. Did you notice the shrug of the eyebrows, the raising of the eyebrows as if he's like, what the hell are you talking about? Shut the F up. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're all frozen. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm sure y'all seen what's going on. Yeah, so honey, she'll be running a little bit. Yeah, like, Right. I sent her an email last night too. He might have he might have been <clears throat> trying to call me, but I'm not answering numbers I don't know because my phone hasn't stopped ringing. Okay. Okay. And I I sent you an email last night. Did you get that? Yeah. I was going okay. to you this. Call Roman Sharf. Roman Sharf is a big YouTuber in this space, and he just did a video, and on his live video, he said it doesn't make sense. So all your accounts have been frozen. For what reason? Banks just don't freeze your accounts for nothing. They don't freeze your accounts over rumors or drama on social media. They freeze your accounts because of suspicious activities. 
I would also like to know how he can get away with filming in these banks. If I just walked into a bank with a film crew or a guy holding a big camera, they're going to tell you to get the hell out or to turn the camera off. It's so funny. Just as he walks into the bank and goes to the customer service guy and he's like, sure, you must have seen it all over the internet, right? You must know what's going on. And the guy's just like, uh, yeah, sure. Like, he has no clue. He doesn't know who the hell you are and what you're talking about. So next up, you probably saw as well the auction for charity that they have uh, currently going on. And that was announced in their charity video. So I thought, hey, let's check out this charity um, on your website. Um, and apparently this is for North Texas Food Bank. And I thought, hey, let's check it out. Maybe make a bid. And I see the current bid is one, I can't even see it. It's so many zeros, it's messed up the, the auction uh, box. So let me zoom out, um, try and see what the figure is. If anyone can tell me how many zeros is that? One trillion, one zillion, who knows? But hey, I thought, why not test this out and see if I can put an even bigger bid in for this auction so i go through the steps and what shocks me is that this website is just a shopify template they have not built this themselves it's just a very basic shopify website it has no security features it you don't even need to confirm your email address to create an account you don't need to verify anything to create a bid. So anyone can just make fake false bids. So it's as if this auction was created to fail. Do you think that's going to be an impact though on the people want to buy from y'all? I think if the message that we want to deliver gets delivered appropriately, I don't think that'll be a problem. It's transpired. In my opinion, the intentions were great. The delivery was horrible. And the reason the delivery was horrible on my end is, look, I'm someone that's been in the business for 20 years, and I don't like to be put in a position where I have to question my loyalty to my friends and business associates in the case of that of the timepiece gentleman. Uh, I called it right off the gate. I told you guys this was most likely a PR stunt, and in my opinion, it was a poorly executed PR stunt. So yes, the intentions were good, but in the very least, I felt like TPG could have let the inner circle know what's going on, i.e. myself, Eric, Nico, and a couple of other YouTube guys, and didn't leave us guessing, because at the end of the day, we're not entertainers. We're in this business to sell watches. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I consider myself a watch dealer for almost 20 years now. So Roman Schaff um, releases a video, a short video, because he's on holiday with his family at the moment in Europe. Uh, response video to the latest uh, Timepiece Gentleman uh, video. And it looks like Roman is trying to back away a little bit from uh, Timepiece Gentleman. And he doesn't look very happy. He doesn't look happy that hundreds of people are messaging him, harassing his team, wasting his team's time, dealing with all this, all of this nonsense. So he is not looking like a happy bunny right now and if i was him i'd be trying to stay away from this mess as much as possible and distancing distancing himself from this saga and check this out remember the lawyer the second lawyer the lady from uh, burger law firm the one that stole stole all her clients from the previous law firm that she worked at she says in the comment I would do it all over again. Wow. Might be able to lose your license from talking those kind of words. So what do you think about that? What is Anthony going to do next? Is this the collapse and demise and end of his so-called empire? Is this... What's he going to do to claw his way up and get back his trust? Is it even possible? Let me know your feelings and thoughts in the comment section below and click on subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications on all our latest up, uh, videos and updates. Thank you and see you in the next one.